Children deserve the opportunity to thrive, to grow up in safe, nurturing relationships and environments. But one billion children are affected by violence every year. This is a terrifying and desperate situation for them, and it's also an urgent public health problem. But no matter what the political or economic situation, violence against children can be prevented. The cost of not acting is huge. Failure to act against violence undermines many other investments in children, including in their health and education, often causing lifelong damage to individuals, families and communities in countless ways, exacerbating problems of mental health, school dropout, alcohol and drug abuse, exposure to HIV and AIDS and many more risks. Most tragically, it raises the risk of further perpetration of violence against the next generation of children in a vicious and destructive cycle. Who's responsible for acting? Well, governments play a key role in preventing violence and safeguarding children. One of the most important functions of any government is to make homes, communities and schools into positive caring places and to ensure that families have the means to protect their children. But it's challenging for governments, which are often pulled in many directions by a huge range of different stakeholders and concerned citizens. The INSPIRE framework can help. It's a set of seven strategies that governments can use to prevent and respond to violence against children. Evidence already shows that well-designed programs using the INSPIRE framework have reduced violence by 20 to 50%. The 2020 Global Status Report on Ending Violence Against Children maps progress in implementing the INSPIRE framework in 155 countries. It provides a baseline to help governments monitor their progress towards ending violence. Although governments around the world support the INSPIRE strategies, the report shows that far more work is needed to end violence against children. Why? Well, for example, 83% of countries have the survey data they need to protect children, but only 21% are using it to set the right prevention baselines and targets. 80% of countries have a national action plan to prevent violence against children, but only 20% of them are fully funded. And although the laws that protect children from violence are enacted all around the world, all around the world, they're poorly enforced. Inspire can help. It's urgent that governments use INSPIRE to do a number of simple things. Develop a national action plan to reduce violence against children and make sure it has precise targets for reductions in violence. Appoint an agency to coordinate multi-sectoral action and give it the resources it needs to do its job properly. Increase funding for evidence-based approaches to ending violence against children. Use the technical guidance in the INSPIRE package to scale up and increase the reach of the programs. And finally, Enact and enforce laws to ensure the absolute prohibition of all forms of violence against children in all settings. To reach the SDG 16 targets of protecting children from abuse, exploitation, trafficking and violence, we need to accelerate progress significantly. INSPIRE can help. This report can help.